And we are back. Hello again, Hello. everyone. We're just going to jump straight into it with Argentine field hockey stars upset with their goalie for getting pregnant before the Olympics. This is our oh. mandatory, our obligatory sports news for the week. So I just realized we don't really have a music one. Oh well, too late now. <laughs> song at some point. <laughs> now I asked uh, Odin during the break because I'm I don't pay attention to sports at all. What uh, field hockey is? Honestly, it's just as it says. Basically, it's it's you play hockey running around on the field rather than skating on ice. Yeah, it sounds honestly, it sounds kind of awesome. I kind of want to play it just a little bit. Um, and also, you don't get all the padding that you do yeah. in ice hockey. <laughs> it's basically the... like, you know, you have all the padding for your ice hockey. This is the same for our field hockey. We don't have any armor apart from the cover. But then it's also the same thing for your American football. You have all your armor and stuff. We have rugby. We have no armor. We just punch each other. <laughs> you Europeans are just a little bit more badass than we are. <laughs> It's kind of like a mix between the two in um, in Australia. They have rugby, like we know it, but then when people get injured to the point they can no longer play rugby, they actually put on some armour and then play Australian-American football. Huh. It's, huh. Apparently it happens quite a lot over there. I wouldn't be all that surprised. Because hmm. it does... Honestly, after coming up from rugby... American football would be easy as hell. Yeah, and I think there's a saying. Actually, no, it was on. It was on a card, like a birthday card, you know. And it said, "Well, with a, with two teeth missing, a, ma a man studded foot in his crotch, and the ball clasped thrown firmly in his arms." Johnny was having a very good friendly match. Ah. <laughs> uh, so, anyways, the. Uh, Argentinian team is upset with their starting goalie just for getting pregnant before the Summer Olympics. She will actually miss the Olympics as she's getting ready for the birth. They are uh, complaining because apparently she did plan this pregnancy despite the pleas of others to hold off before the Olympics and just wait. <sighs> A little message to everybody else on that team. You're a bitch. <laughs> I um, her teammate says she supports motherhood, but not at the expense of a gold medal pursuit. <laughs> I'm really not sure how I feel about that um statement, I... but and also team, you it's planned. You knew this was gonna happen. Get. It's yeah, get another goalie! <laughs> I'm sure there's not only one goalie in Argentina who can, who's just as good as her. Get someone no else! Her thighs. <laughs> oh. Maybe she was the one, you know, just the one fat Argentinian in the group. That's why she was the goalie. She could block more of it. <laughs> well, looking at the picture, um, I can't really tell who it is, but no, she... I don't think she. I don't think this is like going to be at the time they discovered it. I think... Well, yeah, but she can't be but that. If fat. anybody, it's going to be the one like that. Um, just uh, basically crying into her shoulders. I'm not sure, but this is the one who's uh, most pissed off with her. Oh yeah, just uh, three to the left. Two to the left, or two from the right. Sorry, the second on the. Fuck it, you know what I'm talking about. It says it in the caption. <laughs> Second from the right. Oh, okay. Huh. Yeah. I'll say more the fourth from the left. She's like, I can't believe you got pregnant. Oh, God, yeah. <laughs> cow. Yeah, she just looks stuck up as all hell. I was going to enlarge it. Then but... again, she might be a kind of badass. I mean, look, she probably had her knee completely fractured, but look, just duct tape. Fuck surgery. Duct tape. <laughs> <laughs> oh, anyways. Let's move on from that before I embarrass myself with my pathetic lack of knowledge of sports anymore. And we'll go right back into the technology industry because that's apparently all I know how to talk about. Welcome back to EA World. <laughs> 
EA had a uh, bit of a gaffe earlier this week. Uh, they released a message on to all iOS Rock Band users saying, um, by May 31st, Rock Band will no longer be playable on your device. Thank you for rocking out with us. iOS, I'm assuming that's the iPhone. And that the is iPhone. the iPhone OS. Was this message posted on April 1st? No, it was not. This message <laughs> was posted on May 1st, and that is where some of the outcry has come from. Rock Band was due to go down on May 31st. They were still selling it on May 1st when the message went out. This was apparently the last day it was actually legal for them to release this message and take down the servers on May 31st. But you would have less than a month to play the game that you bought. Now, they also... Oh, yeah. We have our music news here. Oh, yeah. I guess you could kind of say this is music news and kind of fake it. They also announced... This wasn't just in a pop-up ad on their game, though. They also announced this in their FAQ on their website, Ooh. which stated that it was, quote, suspending support of Rock Band after May 31st and focusing resources on other EA titles, unquote. This, uh, that same page originally made it unclear whether the game, which can be played offline, would remain playable even after the server shut down. I'm assuming they have a server to host all of the song, all of the song tabs and all that. Well, yeah, it'll be all, it'll be all the ones that people have made or just converted for download and mm -hmm. such. Now, obviously, there was kind of a really big outcry after this announcement. So EA is backpedaling and saying that this was an error, that this message um, that went out to <laughs> all of the users of Rock Band that was specifically dated, that didn't look like a normal error message at all, mm -hmm. and was oh, released oh, yeah. coinciding with a FAQ update, they were saying that all of this is an error and they that users will be able to keep playing the iOS versions of Rock Band. If it, if it was an error, or maybe just basically a non-authorized announcement because of, you know, some one guy in AEA basically going, sort of, <laughs> he's like a massive Windows fan. He's like, <laughs> 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 Yeah, if it was just that one scumbag, then yeah, I could kind of get it. But I don't think that one scumbag would have access to the FAQ as well as the announcement thing on the app. Yeah. yeah. It would be funny, though. It would be hilarious. Because, like, who could have done such a thing? And basically, it's got the meme, but, you know, the giant blue face with the huge mustache. Uh, the rage face one. I'm not sure if you know that one. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah I remember that. Giant, giant blue head. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's meant to sort of be like, I'm lying my ass off meme or something. Now, the, um, EA has gotten quite a lot of bad press recently, namely for the Mass Effect 3 debacle and the worst company of the year um, winner something. with uh, the Consumerist, I believe it was. I don't know. <laughs> I, uh, I tend to disagree, but... Yeah, they're I mean, still pretty I, bad. I enjoy, like, um, as much as Mass Effect 3 ending pissed me the fuck off, um, I think it's, it's, it's yeah, sk Skate 3 and Assassin's Creed, Burnout Paradise. I mean, I love those games. I haven't played an EA game in years. So. Yeah, and it's like, um, as much as their servers are kind of unreliable. Like for some reason, you connect to Xbox Live, and then when you and every time you play an EA game, you connect to EA servers yeah. rather than just play the game. Mm -hmm. Of course, I say I haven't played an Xbox Live game in a while, mm. but I lied because I technically did play Death Spank, which is one of EA's 
indie games, which they are bringing up, they have, if you haven't noticed on Steam, EA actually has released an indie bundle. Now, everyone's just kind of debating, okay, is is the word indie really? It, it's it's it, dead it, now. It, it's corp D, yeah. basically. Yeah, this... The, the main argument has been these games aren't really indie. If it's EA putting out this bundle... They're arcade. Yeah, not they're not indie. indie anymore. It is on Steam, however. So if you do want to, uh... If you do want to go check it out, feel free. I won't endorse it, but feel free. I have played uh, one of the games on that. Luckily, I didn't actually purchase it myself. I was gifted it. I was gifted Death Spank. Um, strangely entertaining game, but I wouldn't go out of my way to buy it. They they have a sequel to that game. You know? Yes, the Thongs of Virtue. Yeah. And I think they've got a third one coming. If they do, it's I haven't heard much about it, but I don't. Yeah. Although in in kind of other news, I'm really glad that Orcs Must Die is getting a second one. Oh, it is. Yeah. Interesting. I saw it on one of the. Uh, I think it was just one of the, like the update news ones. Oh yeah, you know what? I read about that a while ago. I loved uh, Orcs Must Die. I, I might have to pick that up again. Yeah, I think that's the third one. It's got mentioned there by Ian Kidd. The Baconing. Hmm. The Baconing's f uh, fun, yeah. if I remember right. Speaking of indie games, Minecraft Snapshot tw uh, Week 12 or Snapshot 12 W. I don't really know their naming conventions anymore for this shit. But the new Minecraft Snapshot is out, and it has changed a lot of things. For those of you who do care, no, we are not updating the server to match um, this. What is it currently on at the moment? Oh, the old, the, old the server is on 1.2.5, as it is the latest. It is the latest release version. Okay. And it's the latest version that Bucket is actually compatible with. Hmm. Um, they have started merging multiplayer and single player, though, which has um, which means they have started adding hardcore mode to servers. They have started fixing a lot of bugs that were um, mostly just multiplayer, and they have started off. They have actually implemented servers, um, letting you download custom texture packs from the servers. I just thought it was interesting. Yeah, it does sound interesting. It because... does sound interesting, but I may wait to play it, like I always do. Yeah, obviously it's. Um... It's basically trying to make it so you can just jump from single player to multiplayer without there being much difference. Yeah. Kind I think it's basically so that, because I mean a lot of people probably play single player, you know, because everything is how they like it, they have all their settings, mm -hmm. and basically I think, wasn't it something like the multiplayer's only recently got safe mode or something? Was that a while ago, I forget. I don't remember. Like, you could only play it on normal, you couldn't choose, like, um... Oh, yeah. Easy or whatever. Um... Oh, I don't... I don't even remember. That That was... Yeah. That might have been a, at least a bit ago. Yeah, probably. Um... I've not been on Minecraft in a while, despite myself owning my own piece of land. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, so... Yeah, it's, um... Just something I thought you would like to know. Some of you people. Um, this is kind of our, um, our light story, as it were. Mm -hmm. Just so people can relax for a bit. Yeah, just a bit of a calm, calmer story. Um, mm -hmm. Moving on to the and next... And then we get right back to the cancer. Although this is a positive cancer one. Oh, yeah. There is a new blood test which could detect breast cancer years in advance... And this may be, and it may be available in five years. Scientists have announced. This test can. Uh, 
I have not. I haven't read all that much about this story. I was on a bit of a time crunch at this point, so I didn't actually get to skim down this article. But there is apparently, as with most. Um... Now, is this going to be when? I know it's probably they can't really say until it's actually out. But is this going to be be covered by like health insurance? I have stuff? no because... idea. Cause. If not, there's going to be a lot of hypochondriacs giving them money. Well, apparently there are, as with, um, I believe, most uh, cancers, there are certain... Uh, there are certain genetic indicators which hmm. um, double the risk of developing breast cancer. So this test is apparently designed to seek out those genetic indicators and if you have those then it will identify those and let you let the doctors and you know you are at a much higher risk of breast cancer than all the mm. normal people so they can inst they can begin treating before the um before the Cancer before actually starts even, developing. Yeah. Before what was known as before the initial signs. Mm -hmm. Now, because what, what the first sign of cancer is is now going to be like the second one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the first one will now be the genetic indicator. Yeah. Obviously. Now this is just awesome, but that's just because I love science. The next one, however, Fuck yeah, <laughs> is just fucking awesome. Because sharks with freaking laser beams attached to their heads. Are, are those sharks with a with little little laser beams attached to their head? Yeah, it is, Dad. <laughs> because science is fucking awesome. Scientists have released a shark with a laser attached to its head into the ocean. Well, to its fin, to be fair, but you know, it's all, all of the shark is but... a head. <laughs> yeah. They kind of they they kind of tried the head at first as like, how? No. Okay, apart from duct tape, this thing is not going to stick on its head. <laughs> Just strap it to the fin. Now, scientists say that this is to, um, to track the motion of the shark or whatever. But we all know. We all know that this is just... Bullshit, they just they did this <laughs> just to say, Dude, sharks with friggin' laser beams on their heads. <laughs> and then later on we're going to find out that these basically... Um, it's a weapon. And these lasers are tuned to the frequency most commonly used in materials used in enemy submarines. And they would ring out and make submarines shake themselves to death, basically. Some form of sonic laser. <laughs> now, this isn't actually a deadly laser. This is actually the um, the least lethal. The um, this is the. I like where? the term "least lethal." Where is it? Oh bloody hell! The lowest powered um laser supplied by Wicked Lasers. The Hong Kong based company that was somewhat sponsoring this um, project. Yes, the, the, the S3 Krypton laser. The S3 Krypton green laser which is the lowest powered um, laser supplied by Wicked Lasers which produces a... a beam around 50 milliwatts. Now essentially that makes it like a very strong laser pointer. But yeah. Sharks with friggin' laser beams attached to their heads. It's sharks with laser beams attached to their head, apparently looking for Superman at the bottom of the ocean. Yeah, because they've got kryptonite strapped to their heads. <laughs> and obviously yeah. Superman's down at the, the bottom of the ocean. I, I... Oh yeah, he's hanging out with Aquaman. Probably strapped to a table against his will with kryptonite chains or something, but you know, he's... Aquaman will do anything for a friend. <laughs> <laughs> now, we're going to go from 
Well, oh. there's really nothing you can say but sharks with friggin' laser beams attached to their heads. We're gonna go from that to a little bit less awesome. Namely, mm. a lot less awesome and more, like, depressing and... Yes. We're going, yeah, we're going into the negatives here. Yeah, we're going into the Pirate Bay territory. The UK, um, the, uh, uh, the, some British High Court, I don't know the... It's just, yeah, it's just the High Court. The High Court, okay. Yeah. <laughs> the High Court has, um, ruled that the Pirate Bay, one of the most major torrent sharing sites on the internet and it's actually gone through I just tried to access the pirate bay and I can't um, they have basically ruled that all UK ISPs must block the pirate bay motherfucker now some um, no in November 2011 the BPI asked the group of ISPs to voluntarily block access to the site, um, but they have now taken court action and are mandating that um, that they block the Pirate Bay. Of course, there aren't just illegal things on the Pirate Bay. There are actually legitimate things on there as well, but yep. in optimistic news... The Pirate Bay has reported that they have enjoyed a 12 million user traffic boost because of this, and this has given them a great opportunity to share tips to get around this block. The Pirate Bay has reported that the day after the High Court ruling that leading ISPs must censor the Pirate Bay, the day after, they the Pirate Bay had 12 million more visitors than they have ever had before, providing a golden opportunity to educate users on how to circumvent the blocks that the ISPs will later... Um, that they will later enforce. There we go. Lost the word. Now, I'll just read off kind of a, a quick list of what they advise. The most simple solution is to use a VPN, and if you don't want to use a pricey one, then you can download, then you can use a free solution such as VPN Reactor, which offers a time limited 30 minute VPN. But 30 minutes is good enough to get onto the Pirate Bay and download the magnet file. Once you've downloaded the magnet file and started up uTorrent or whatever torrent client you use, you don't really need to be connected to the Pirate Bay anymore, so you don't need the VPN anymore, so you can just keep downloading without having to worry about them blocking it. Um, they, are, um. they are also recommending the use of Tor, but only for the initial accessing of the website and downloading magnet files. Torrent clients themselves should never be run over Tor, as the system is not designed for it, and they will actually be pitifully slow. Um, and they are also advising people to change their DNS provider. If you don't know what this means, and if you're not in U the UK, either Google it, or don't worry about it yet. Well, yet. no. And if you're in the UK, due to an expert, um, advisor of the court, the above tips will more than likely not work. To circumvent this kind of problem, the Pirate Bay can be accessed via a third party, a so-called proxy, one of these purely for the job of just is op being operated by the UK Pirate Party. The, um, the, uh... Yep, there we go. Now, the only... The only uh, tip that the Pirate Bay was offering that he said would not work is obtaining the IP address of the Pirate Bay. So instead of typing in the Pirate Bay dot com or the Pirate Bay dot se, um, typing in two o eight dot three one one dot whatever the hell the IP address is, that was the only one that wouldn't work because the IP blocks, the blocks that the ISPs are going to be implementing would fix that. All the rest of these yeah. tips will supposedly work, however. Okay, 
that, that's fine by me. I'm using my third party site. <laughs> <laughs> and you go, right, back in the rightful place then. And I'm going to rename that shortcut Pirate Bay because that's basically what it is. <laughs> Now, as an update, Virgin Media has already started blocking the Pirate Bay. Yeah, I just tried accessing. That's why I'm on Virgin. Ah. Uh, and they have blocked it already. Yes. Even though the block is not mandatory for another few hours. Few hours. Yeah. Or, not few hours, few weeks. My apologies. Um, in other entertaining news, um... Younger, the same lines. younger people have responded to the increase of tough, uh, tougher online legislation and increasing levels of government spying, or at least perceived government spying, by investing in VPN services. More and more young, uh, young adults have been investing in VPNs. Compared uh, compared to figures from late 2009, 40% more 15 to 25 year olds are now hiding their activities online, in some way or another. Now, Twitches, I'm gonna make a quick comment on your comment. You can actually go onto the Pirate Bay and download a magnet file, which will, which when you download, um, you, when you use it, it will actually download a file containing all of the magnet files hosted on the Pirate Bay ever. So essentially you have no more use for the Pirate Bay as soon as you've downloaded this file. And then you spend about three years filtering out the ones you don't need. Uh -huh. Or just <laughs> control F and whatever you needed. But essentially you have just torrented everything ever. Just now it's just downloading it. Um. Oh, you people suck. Anyways, um. Uh, in other. I, in I'm very quiet with this because it's just such a sad, dark time for the internet. Yes. Yes, it is. Oh, I, I, you know, when it was all about just other stuff like education, I was, I was happy at making jokes, even though in poor taste. But right now, I'm just so. Mm-hmm. <laughs> in other good-ish news I guess you could say judges have ruled that an IP address does not identify a person meaning that um, US lawmakers or US uh, police would not be able to use just the IP address as proof positive that someone has been downloading or someone has been performing copyright infringement as American or as police have been doing before yeah. because what they would originally do is find oh all of these IP addresses um, have been downloading this thing let's sue all of them well who lives at this IP address? Who lives at the place identified by this IP address? This person. Okay. Now, oh, of wait, course. No, it's also everybody else in the building. <laughs> mm-hmm. Of course. IP addresses not as good when you're living in an apartment building, or when you're going, or when you have a um, dynamic IP, or when you have. Um, your IP masked Anything. behind uh -huh. another I, behind a VPN or something like that. Basically, there's pretty much you can do almost anything you want to mask your IP address. I don't quote me on that. I'm not internet. I'm not one, all techie with my the, internet blocking. One like of that. the easiest ones, just for browsing the web, is just called hide my ass. <laughs> you don't have to download anything. You just go on it. You click start the internet, and then basically you just use it like a normal web browser. Mm -hmm. If I can close that. Um, Alright, so that's pretty much all that we have for section one today. Um, Luckily, that segment was only about a half an hour, I yeah. think. As a side note, don't use BitTorrent, use uTorrent. <laughs> I use uTorrent. 
U torrent, no bit torrent. Yeah. Yeah. U torrent just well, it just looks pretty to me. <laughs> oh, and by Jesus Christ, don't use bit comet. <laughs> I've never even heard of that one. Yeah. I think it was basically the one that was set up by um I it's been so long now, but basically that program that everybody LimeWire. Oh yeah. <laughs> well if you if it's set up by LimeWire uh, LimeWire, security is sure to be guaranteed. Oh Alright. We're not we're not encouraging piracy. We're encouraging still being able to access things that have long since not been available to buy. Yeah, like the uh, older versions of maybe XSplit or uh, um, shit, anything else that no websites except for Pirate Bay host anymore. I don't know. Obscure Amiga games. Yeah, like that. Um, Alright, with that we are going to cut to a a little bit longer of a break this time. Mm-hmm. We're going right, to. So yeah, we're Maybe going you to. Have a bacon sandwich or something. <laughs> bacon. We're going to quick bathroom break, reload all the tabs, all that. We'll be back in. Uh, maybe five minutes at most. Five. All right. And. See Still you then. Hit. <laughs>